Okay, let me do some settings. Right. And Huang, you can make some people as a co-host, those who deserve to be co-host. No, I'm not able to make them the co-host. Okay, you cannot Only make. you. Only I you can will... do that. Okay. Only the... I will send my student into Zoom number two. All right. So you are, you would be with your student in breakout in Machu. Yes. Yes. That's okay. So here you One are. One day, I hope they will stay in the main room with you. <laughs> All right. Definitely. I would be happy to be with kids uh, with you. So this is our topic. <laughs> yeah. It's a negative thought. I just want to talk with you all people about the topic. If you want to say something about it, anything related to the topic, negative thought, what does it mean? Anybody? I can hear you. Mm -hmm. The thing is that many times we have uh, many mishappen happening happen with us. Many bad things happen with us. Like somebody cheats you, right? Somebody does bad thing with you, right? And you did not expect that thing with you that that guy could do this bad thing with you, right? That guy, your friend, had cheated you. You could not expect that, but that happened. And you think for the long time that does not come out from your mind. You're not able to forget that thing. So how do you overcome from these problems, right? And many times when you are going to start any new work, when you are offered any new work, that moment you are not able to uh, think that whether you should go ahead for this work or not. Many negative uh, thoughts that come in your mind, many other people, they tell to you that uh, like uh, you should not do this work, you should not invest your money, you should not dis do this business. You would be having a great loss if you are going to do this kind of business. So this kind of thing happen with you, all the people. And many times who use their mind, their brain, they do not think about others. They do not think about negative uh, like ideas, negative thoughts. They don't, they, they don't care about these things. And they just go ahead in their life and they succeed. So I have just given you a small glimpse of the topic. I think that you have understood what we are going to discuss today, right? So you all can share your views. You all can share your, any uh, like mishappening that happened with you, any idea, any thing, right? So anybody can start, anybody. Here we need to interact with each other. We need to talk to each other. Anyone start yes, speaking. Sir. Yes, please. Yes, sir. I, I think today's topic is just uh, meaning to all of us. It's a negative uh, thinking, which is related to matters or something else, which doesn't mean or carry any good idea for ourselves. So we need to avoid this kind of thoughts all the time to uh, achieve our goals. Yes, if we carry this kind of activities, then we will be suffer in the long run. So we need to leave this kind of thoughts from my side, I can say. Mm -hmm. So how to leave these things? How to stay yes. away? Yes, we need to do or uh, take a lot of steps. Uh, we are we need we are uh, facing this kind of steps. Then we take uh, we need to change our strategy, and we need to focus on the positive thinking. No need to think uh, on negative thinking. Mm -hmm. So we need to change uh, our uh, thoughts by different way. How mm -hmm. to achieve our goal, mm -hmm. and uh, it may be sometimes uh, to to do too much difficult, mm -hmm. but you know. Truth is always beauty, so mm -hmm. I I like it. But positive thing is always. <laughs> but sometimes these things are not in our control. Yeah. Don't you think that we I, like we want that we want to forget those bad things, but 
like I'm not able to forget that things so that happens. In the best I way, I agree with you. This. Just wait, wait, wait. So, yes, Alan, just please. Uh, just I would just say that the best way is to start socializing ourselves more, right? Because there are sometimes when we just forget ourselves because mm -hmm. of the of the of the issue that happened within our family, within the people who we just to you know to share with almost always or or if a person just just passed away mm -hmm. it's true it, it's really hard and we there are sometimes when we just say well i think i am a loser because i didn't go, i didn't accomplish what i wanted with this person but it, it usually happens when you are you know in love with a person and all of a sudden this person you know leaves you mm -hmm. it's really hard and it's really hard, but at some point we need to appreciate ourselves. We need to love ourselves so we can go ahead and develop positive thinking. At the end, <laughs> I had a friend who lost uh, his girlfriend two years ago. Unfortunately, it happened all because uh, due, to a, uh, due to an accident, to a current accident. Now he's like, well, bro, so you see, I love her so much and it's really hard. Mm -hmm. I think I will be unable to find another girl like her. It's true. There will be no other girl like the, the girl she had back in the past. But so you see, I always encourage him to go ahead and, and, and keep moving because nobody else is going to help you out. I'm pretty sure that's those disarming words. I'm pretty sure you will find another girl because there are a lot of girls out there. One like her and one like uh, how she behaved with you, nobody. Mm -hmm. But I'm pretty sure there's another girl who will go ahead and support you with what you want. Because <laughs> this is something which uh, it's really important. We need to go ahead and take every single topic into consideration so we can go ahead and move forward in our lives. So mm -hmm. guys, thank you for the time. And I'm pretty sure there are some more people out here who like to share their opinion, their stains, right? Mm -hmm. So thank you. This is pretty much it. But I would okay. certainly like to go ahead and share some more, you know, words with you afterwards. But here we are. And Shashira, again, it's a pleasure and honor being over here again with you guys. Thank you, Alan, for speaking. And uh, you have given very good point that we need to be socialized and we need to forget the things and we need to go ahead in our life right so these are the ways no so we are okay poor poor i request you please mute yourself all right thank you very much now we are going to the slides now so here you are those who are co-host please admit the people so forgetting negative thoughts is not the solution so this is the first time which I have written many people when they uh, like have some negative thoughts in their mind that comes again and again. So forgetting negative thoughts is not the solution. So what does it mean? It means is that like uh, you are trying to, when you are trying to forget something, right? And you are thinking that now I won't remember that thing. Now I, that this idea would not come in my mind. So can it, can it happen? No, that cannot happen. Do you know why it is not? Okay, so, I'm sorry. There was some internet problem. So fine. So uh, the first point was that uh, forgetting anything is not the solution. That means uh, when we try to forget any bad thing which happened with us, right? So that is not the solution. Why? Because when we try to forget anything that comes more and more, because we are thinking about that we are when when I'm trying to forget something that means I'm thinking about that that is coming in our mind again and again so it is it is not the solution so what should be the solution what should be the solution if you are not able to forget we are trying to forget um yeah that boy has cheated me he has taken a lot of money from me and uh, I have done many good things with that guy or with my girlfriend but she has cheated me and now I would not remember so what does it mean like I'm remembering her I'm remembering, I'm remembering her face. I am remembering all the things which I, I had done with her. 
with a good thing with her. So that means I'm remembering. So can I forget that? That's not possible, right? You would be remembering more and more, right? Because all the time you are in the unconscious mind, you are using your subconscious mind. When because thinking and remember anything which is not under your control, right? So what is the solution for doing all these things for like uh, staying away from this kind of situation? The solution is that. <laughs> fight with full strength okay when you feel that now you are in a good mood everything is good with you right you have some positive things in your mind you are with your friends and you are enjoying your time that means you should remember that guy all right strength yourself have a confidence and then start thinking about all that bad thing right and just think about your good things think about your good habits right which you have done with that guy right and think about that that person does not deserve to be your friend to be your girlfriend to be your uh, like a life partner just think about that she's nothing in front of you right whatever you have done that was your good thing that was your good nature which you have done and that you do with all the people so that is your strength. So in this way, you can fight with bad memories, right? All the time, start thinking about your strength, about your capacity. And after a few days, you would be able to forget that person would not come in your mind. So that is the solution to think about that person deliberately. Think about that, that guy. Think about that bad things, bad uh, events that happen with you, right? So this is the solution. So would you like to discuss about this point? Guys, fighting with those bad memories deliberately. Did you understand what does it mean? Anybody? Anybody, Azita? You know, we all have to discuss these things. We'll all have to talk about these things to each other. Yeah. Then we can Actually, discuss. I I think it doesn't need all of the time we have to fight with this mm -hmm. problem. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we need to solve this problem. Mm -hmm. And if we don't solve it, we have to accept it. Mm -hmm. And we, we can't accept it, we have to um, move um, another side and remove this problem with, mm -hmm. uh, around uh, ourselves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sometimes uh, fighting. Azita, that you need to Azita, you need to understand. You need to understand what is what we are discussing. The thing is that somebody, like some your friend, girlfriend or boyfriend of somebody, right, who has okay. done bad thing with you, bad behavior with you, which was not expected by you, by that guy, and now he is not with you. Right, is not living with you. Is not talking with you. Right. So no, the thing is that now you are upset, you are depressed, right? You're not able to overcome. You're not able to forget. And you're yes. not able to you, work. I remember again and again, this memory, this bad behavior with myself, right? Mm -hmm. yes. It depends on me. It, it shows I have some problem in my mind. I have, mm -hmm. treat, I have to treat myself at the first step. Mm -hmm. Because I have some problem in my mind, mm -hmm. I can't re, uh, um, uh, I can't forget it. At the yeah. first, I have problem with myself. So, what is the solution? Okay. What is the solution? How can we forget? How sometimes, can we? Sometimes need I have to go um, counselor, mm -hmm. and sometimes I need take a uh, medicine. Mm -hmm. It depends on how is my problem. Yeah, sometimes it need uh, it needs. I have to. Um, uh, I need to help uh, another person, expert mm -hmm. person. Yeah, exactly. But if not, if it's normal. It's normal. Um, I can. I have to. Sometimes I have to um, study some books, improve my self confidence, and so mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. if yeah, the same point. Problem, the same point, Azita. The same point. I'm saying that when we are normal, okay. When we yeah. are normal, when we everything is good right when we are enjoying something okay that moment you should remember that event that guy that bad things which happened with you right 
remember all the good habits of yours all the good deeds which you have done with that guy remember all these things then think that that guy does not deserve to be your friend got it he does not deserve to be in your life right yeah got it yeah. so it, this is the way that you can forget you can overcome from this kind of problem got it yeah i got it we need to fight think, with those in bad opinion, this, hmm. in my opinion this person is not is is a normal yes. because normal person can't can't remember um, uh, all of good things about that and forget bad behavior mm-hmm. um with uh, him or herself mm-hmm. in my opinion it's not normal person i'm sure he or she has some problem and she needs to uh, um, take uh, take uh, protect take you need some help another person okay fine so there is one guy krishna who wanted to speak hello krishna krishan uh hi everyone hi good evening uh, it's uh, my friend my side from good evening we are talking about friends no so i have the incident mm-hmm. i have the incident please go ahead um, uh my friend uh, i don't want to uh, disclose her name so i will like person we are good friends from a year and we spend each and every day together we call each other every night after classes and whatever happens we talk with each other but one day and a funny moment uh, eventually her best friend become my best friend because of some studies you know uh, mutual understandings and studies so we talked with each other and i don't know why uh, she get mad and everything but it's okay until uh, the another girls like uh, her best friends father die then at the moral duty what what the person can do uh, i just went at her place i make her laugh a little bit she is not eating from 3 days so i i just fed her and she slip then a day after tomorrow she came and she was looking like she is going to kill me and after that she stopped talking with me i just asked her every day single every day what happened something did happen something did happen she is not even replying she is not giving a single answer she is just ignoring everything at one point we just fed up and we fight then what happened next day uh, everyone from the uh, batch they started uh, making nuisance about this thing mm-hmm. so somehow my parents got involved so i don't want that thing but uh, my mom came and she told her what happened then she replied a rude way at that time at that time mm-hmm. i realized the person is behind face it's a devil because you know there is some point you can handle uh, insults but if your mom if your have dads and uh, they got involved and they are not treating properly then sometime you got mad and i just said you stop and the b- word is little bit you know uh, not not good in public to say but at front of everyone i said that and from that time that happened and from sometimes i think last year uh, after pandemic started she uh, she texted me and said i am sorry i have the anger and uh, let's forgot about this so i don't know how to cope up and reply with that stuff mm-hmm. now i am little bit confused i should go with the person who is same as that i don't think so because her mindset mm-hmm. is so so down to you know people like uh, smugglers or gangsters type that she she do not uh, know how to talk with the uh, elder ones and everything okay that's fine so, that's fine no does anybody do? have does but does anybody have any answer of this question anybody whatever he has told does anyone understand what he said lily yes lily do you want to say please and mute yourself and say anybody raise your hand 
Okay, fine. Let me tell you, Christian. If you have that much of capacity of bearing, tolerating the people's anger, all right, or being insulted in front of others, if you have capacity of bearing this kind of thing, then just go ahead with that girl, right? Because self-respect is most important, right? If person is not able to respect you, is not able to understand your feelings, your emotions, your work which you have done with that girl, right? How could she respect you, right? She has uh, misbehaved with you because she was angry, right? In the future, she can also misbehave with you. You can be in depressed. One thing already happened with you and you are going to give chance for the next time. So the solution is that you should not go ahead. The word is so big. You would get a lot of people, right? And one more thing that was also the positive sign in the beginning. She has given her uh, like the devil nature as you told that, right? So that was very good thing that happened with you. Do you know why? Maybe you could have, uh, you could also spend more things, more money or like entire life with that girl, right? Maybe because of that girl, you could destroy your entire life. So that girl has saved your life, saved everything, saved you for being humiliated in front of others. Got it? Krishan, that is yeah, my opinion. Yeah, that is my opinion. If something bad happened, if somebody misbehaved with you, right? So do not take it negatively. Take it in a positive way. Yeah, that's a very good thing that guy has done with me. I would take care in the future, right? I don't want to be humiliated next time. Got it? Yeah, of course. That's the point. I yeah. will, I, I want to do that stuff. Then. Yeah, that's good. Now, the next point we have, that is all mem memories, what you are. All the memories, what you are. Now, the thing is that what is I am? Do you know what I am? The memory which I have in my mind. I teach English language. Why? Because of, I have learned it. Everything is on mind. Can we forget all the memories? Is it possible? Is it possible to forget anything? Because these things are in your mind. The bad things, the bad uh, people who misbehaved with you or who has cheated with you, right? Can you forget those people? You cannot forget those people. You cannot forget all the bad memories, negative thoughts. You Nobody can forget that. Because that is associated with you. If you are going to remove from your mind, right? That means you are not normal person. That means you have some illness. People who forget the things. Generally, the people who have got the age of 65 or 70 or 50 years, they start forgetting. They have some illness of forgetting the things, right? And if you are trying to forget these things, that happen with you, that bad things happen with you, that's not possible. You cannot forget any bad things. Got it? Right? So what is the solution? You need to just fight. You need to fight with those bad habits, bad negative thoughts. You have to think about that. Think more and more. Think about the bad negative things, negative thoughts. Think about that. Think more and more. Deliberately think it. Okay? And just think about your good things what you have done with that guy, with that person. And then take the solution and conclude it that that person doesn't deserve to be in your life. Remove. That's it. Okay? Now the next point we have. Okay. Remembering any good or bad thoughts is symbol, a sign of healthy brain. Do you understand that? That means when you are remembering when the negative thoughts or positive thoughts which are coming in your mind again and again, that means your brain is working well. It's a functioning well. It's a healthy brain. 
that is the meaning of this line do not feel that you are depressed your mind is not working you are not able to perform any work you are not able to do any work you are given any kind of task or job if you are given any work and you are not able to perform and some other memories which are coming in your mind right it doesn't matter that you have got some problem in your brain your brain is working well it is absolutely fine because all the things bad or negative both are coming in your mind that means it is functioning well now you need to just overcome from the bad things and that's it and how you can do that when you fight when you think deliberately and then you can fight okay when you fight with physically with anyone how you fight physically with anyone that comes in front of you all right and you are prepared you are prepared mentally you have weapon and you are physically fit then only you can fight but when you are not fit when you are using your subconscious mind means you are you are not able to use your conscious mind that moment you cannot fight with the bad memories with the negative thoughts are you understanding what i'm saying are you getting the thing is that when you think deliberately that means you are using your brain you are using your conscious mind do you know what is the i think that you all know about the subconscious mind and conscious mind does anybody know doesn't know that about the, what is subconscious and conscious mind anybody is here who doesn't know what is subconscious and conscious mind is there anyone just raise your hand if someone doesn't know what is conscious and what is subconscious mind i think you all know about subconscious and conscious mind okay conscious mind which is used by 10% of the people like when we learn something okay like when we learn uh, how to drive car right that moment we use conscious mind we need to take care steering we need to take care gear we need to take care clutch and brake and accelerator right we use our conscious mind when we start learning how to drive car okay when we learn how to drive car when we are very good when we are expert in driving car that moment we use our subconscious mind that is the difference between subconscious and conscious mind okay we don't take care about when we have to brake it when we have to change the gear we, when we have to turn your or your steering left and right we don't think we never you ever use our mind we drive the car when we ride your bicycle when you ride your bike you never ever use your brain do you use your brain but when you learn it okay when you start learning how to drive then only you use your conscious mind that so that is the difference between conscious mind and subconscious mind got it i think yet you have understood the difference between subconscious and conscious mind now so when you have to remove when you have to fight your negative thoughts so you have to use your conscious mind okay now moving to the next slide okay now the next slide is okay we all don't know how much capacity we have to bear the problem but we underestimate our power the thing is that our brain is very much powerful our body is very much powerful but the thing is that we always underestimate means we don't know the thing is that we can overcome from all kind of situation from all kind of problem okay you might have seen or you might have noticed many couples many girlfriend and boyfriend when they meet each other when they meet first time or second time or third time when they enjoy their life before marriage right they promise that i cannot live with you without you the girl also say that i cannot live without you if you die i will also die with you that happens that happens or not right every girls and boys they say to each other right don't leave my life and you should be in my life all the time i will with you so they promise they do so many strong promises right and after their marriage right sometime that bad thing happen with the couples like one uh, male person or boy a husband dies or girls also dies right so what happen that when a girls uh, when a girl dies so boy also dies does it happen does it happen no that doesn't happen boy also lives boy also lives entire life 
he also gets married with another girl that happens or not right and the same thing happened with girl when man dies girl also gets married with another man right so how that's possible like in the beginning when you 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 used to say that uh, i cannot live with you and i cannot uh, like uh, be i cannot live in this world you were saying these kind of thing you were doing so many processes uh, promises and now you are going to get married with another girl another boy what about th those promises so how that's possible that is possible because our brain our brain is so powerful we can manage okay. everything can be managed right many people many uh, like uh, family members very important members of our family they also goes from the life right but still the life goes on still brain that overcomes from the problem right many people they put effort uh, achieving a particular goal and they don't achieve so what happened that they stop doing any work they set another goal they overcome and they achieve right so that is a powerful of our <laughs> brain and many people they are they they die many people they die because they do not use their conscious brain conscious mind they don't use their brain they don't live the world they don't see the world they don't see the opportunities right so that is the capacity of the brain you should understand we all should know about the how much powerful our brain is our mind is our body is many disabled people they have lived their life okay so we are moving to the next slide we have some slides uh, so this is the slide we should learn how to enjoy in contraction and expansion what is contraction and what is expansion did you understand it this word contraction and expansion now what is contraction and what is expansion you can no, okay you can understand easily uh, when you watch any uh, horror movie right when kids they watch horror movie so what happened then when they watch when the ghost comes okay and uh, you just contract i'm sorry you contract yourself you squeeze your squeeze your body right you do like that all right and you close your eyes sometimes you do you're not you don't want to watch that ghost or kids they don't want to watch the ghost okay and when the movie is over right so how you behave right you just expand yourself you become so happy you become so happy right and you enjoy other things so that is a meaning of contraction and that is a meaning of expansion okay when the bad thing comes you contract yourself and the bad things just uh, goes out you enjoy right when you feel so thirsty so thirsty you are so thirsty and you are not able to get the water right uh, you are tantalized but you want one glass of water and you are not able to get for half an hour or one hour right or more than that and once you get the water so do you enjoy drinking the water when you are so thirsty that is the meaning of contraction and the meaning of expansion so you need to enjoy all the moments when you are in the problem and when you happy all right so these are the things by which you can avoid or stay away or overcome or fight with the negative thoughts so now we are moving to the next slides if you want to discuss anything any point you can raise your hand and you can discuss so that is about the contraction and expansion okay now we are we have next slide that is okay so as i have already told you that when you are in the your conscious mind when you are happy when you are in the good mood welcome all the negative thoughts remember the negative thoughts and break the cycle of memories breaking the cycle of memories that means start remembering your good things your good behavior 
which you behaved which you did with your friends or your colleagues or your girlfriend or boyfriend think about your stupidity which you did with yourself many times we do many uh, stupid things with ourselves with our friends right and start remembering those things that how stupid i was i misbehaved like that i used that word i did that word think about those stupid work right in that way you can you would be able to think that now you know you are a smart person right but you also do some stupid things everybody does a stupid things okay now so this is line i've written so life is so complicated don't try to find the answer of all the questions of life if you get one answer life will change the questions got it that is very easy that means there are so many typical questions so many uh, mysteries of the life and don't try to find the answer the solution like you always try to ask the question to yourself that why that guy has misbehaved with me like i have done very good thing with that guy i have done very uh, i was very good with that guy i don't know that why suddenly he changed his behavior right so don't think too much about other this is the habit this is the nature this is the quality of a human changing the behavior becoming angry sometimes somebody becomes so happy somebody becomes so sad and sometimes somebody behaves in a bad way right that's the nature so do not ask the questions to yourself again and again why that girl cheated me why that girl misbehaved why she was shouting what happened with that guy right don't ask this kind of questions if you get the answer of one question you would get another question so you would just stuck yourself okay the next point we have this is very important line every positive person finds the opportunities in everything right the positive people who always think about positive who always go ahead in all kinds of opportunity they never ever think about the negative points or negative opinion they do not apply the negative opinion on everything they always watch the positive sides of anything right so while negative person finds the problem in everything so negative people always catch they always get the problems on everything so that was the slides which i have given and i think that's over almost right so okay this is very important so do you believe few dies in a small disease and few don't die from big disease like cancer that's very true many people in the world dies from very small diseases right and many people they don't die from big diseases like cancer they overcome from the big disease the reason behind is that people they use their brain they use their conscious mind they think themselves that they are physically fit they can fight with any kind of diseases and they overcome from those bad or big diseases right and many people they start scared themselves they start thinking about themselves like uh, that's how could i live how could i overcome from this this is very big disease like the, the small diseases they start thinking many people they start taking care about their hairs right they get depressed when they are they have got the problem of hair fall that's very small thing that happens with almost people right so this is the yes krishan do you want to say something yes uh, my mom is like patient of sle mm-hmm. uh, uh, and do you know chikungunya mm-hmm. chikungunya tomato gunya so fever fever at the first uh, fever and joint pains through that uh, illness mm mm-hmm. so my mom was the first just a minute oh my god Uh, powerful to survive uh, until now okay i'm sorry my 
like i was disconnected that's okay uh, but i could understand that you were talking about your mother's diseases and she uh, okay could you repeat once again she fought against those diseases bravely uh, the monkey gunia uh, the monkey gunia tomato gunia like there are diseases uh, the doctors cannot uh, know the about this diseases and uh, they just started curing her with the cancer medicine mm -hmm. uh, the heavy dose and that because doctor do not know what is that mm -hmm. at that time uh, no one knows about this illness uh, so my mom start having doses of uh, cancers and everything and uh, after that she realized uh, this is not a cancer and my my mama like uh, my uncle mm -hmm. they they are mr like in uh, field of doctor mm -hmm. so they take her and uh, they go to delhi and uh, after uh, many concerns and that they found out this is chikungunya and mm -hmm. it's converted in sle sle is a bigger form of uh, all uh, types of illness mm -hmm. so because of cancer uh, they started giving cancer medicines her bones and everything is uh, rotten down and uh, she went uh, six month at coma and everything happens so after that she recover herself taking my name she always to uh, told me about that uh, because of you i am still here because of you i am still here so at that time i do not understand what is she saying and until now i just realized like with the experience i went out i have experience with the people who like cheated on me i loved them and everything so i experienced everything and then i realized oh my mom loved me that much that she survived this much mm -hmm. the thing is that and uh, at that point uh, she is crying every time when she saw a nurse because every time in every hour they take her blood and uh, uh, she has a fever 105 and uh, she cannot like doctor cannot uh, suck from anywhere so because of that she got uh, fissures and from that part uh, doctor suck the um, fever so and from that she got the fever uh, fissures and everything so she survived that much everything happened but she is every time i ask her she always say that because of you i love you that's why i survived that much then there uh, i inspired from my mom that uh, you can go through anything after that yeah if you love someone truly if Definitely. you have someone in your life that you love <laughs> and Yeah, he is giving all all things to you. Then you can survive anything in this world. Yeah, you know, uh, your mother she has strong belief on you, right? And just because of that belief, she was not thinking about her diseases. She was not thinking about that what is happening with her body, what doctors are doing. She was just thinking about do you that my son is with me. he is very much powerful so i should always coordinate him i should be with him she was just thinking about you right so that is the power of brain that is just because of that that she was using her conscious mind right and she was not thinking about the diseases and all and everything that what doctors are just misleading her and misleading the family members she was not thinking about those thing but you were with her you know everything what is going on but and you are not telling those things to your mother i think i think so you are not telling that you would be just uh, saying to your mother that uh, everything will be okay and, and all and like that right so thank you very much for sharing your uh, like a story real story with with us it's very inspired it's also part of our uh, like uh, our sessions of negative thoughts that's very good thank you very much so now the thing is that the i have gone through all the slides all the things and you should apply these important thing these important lines in your life and uh, definitely you would be able to overcome from the negative then negative uh, thoughts and you could become more strong right just sure do you want to say something uh, yes i want to say that uh, it depends upon us how we are thinking positive and negative if suppose we get some diseases like fever 
Mm-hmm. So if we think positive, then within one day the fever can be removed. But mm-hmm. if you are thinking in a negative way, mm-hmm. then the fever can become a virus fever. Mm-hmm. And if suppose if a cancer patient is there, mm-hmm. uh, so if the cancer patient is thinking a lot of negative thought about himself, then maybe uh, her death can be very certain. But if the patient is thinking positive that his diseases will be getting recovered very soon and if uh, he or she think positive then definitely uh, his diseases can be reduced so it depends upon the thinking that how we think so they should think positive so everything will be okay but if they think negative then it can be worse mm-hmm. so it, de- it depends upon thinking mm-hmm. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, so I'm going to make breakout room, right? You all can discuss some questions which I have shared in the WhatsApp group. You can discuss those questions. Okay, let me make breakout room. So anybody is here who wants to share something about the topic, he or she can share. Breakout to number one, Ashish Abdullah. Breakout to number one. Guys, join your breakout room as fast as you can. You need to discuss whatever I have shared. Join as fast as you can. And those who are getting the links. And after that, we will discuss more about this topic. There are so many people. Keep joining. Michelle, Mo, Nadia, guys, join, join your breakout room. You all need to join, and well done. Just yes, guys. I have assigned you all breakout room. Please join as fast as you can.